Factsverse presents… They found a safe under their kitchen island, and they decided to open it. When you buy a home that is a fixer-upper, you can often get it for pretty cheap. However, you never know what you're going to find when you start doing the remodeling. Plumbing issues, electrical issues, mold issues – they're all not uncommon when fixing up an old house. Well, when this couple purchased this fixer-upper, they had no idea what they were about to find. They found a safe in their house behind a medicine cabinet, and they decided to open it. Before we get into the rest of this video, though, please click the like button and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. When the couple bought the house, they were told that it had six previous owners. After buying the home, they decided to make some upgrades one room at a time. When they were working in the bathroom, they found a code in the medicine cabinet. They didn't know what it was for, so they decided to hold on to it. Well, when it was time to remodel the kitchen, they decided to rip out the existing kitchen island and replace it with one that was more modern. When they removed the island, they found a safe built into the floor. They couldn't believe their eyes. The woman remembered that they had found a code when remodeling the bathroom, so she went to go retrieve it. While she did that, the man looked at the safe. He estimated it to be around 10 or 20 years old. They were both excited to see what was inside. When the woman came back with the code, it took her a few tries to put in the combination, but it worked. The safe opened. When she and her husband saw what was inside the safe, they couldn't believe their eyes. Inside, there were piles of money, a blue book, an old bingo card, and an old liquor bottle. At first, the man was hesitant about reaching inside the safe in case it had been booby-trapped. Finally, they decided that it would be safe to remove the items. The first thing they removed was the cash. <laughs> I would have too. Most of it was $100 bills. They counted it up and they had a total of $51,080. Next, they examined the bottle of liquor. It turned out to be a bottle of James E. Pepper, and according to Wikipedia, it's credited with being the inventor of the Old Fashioned. This drinks basically whiskey, bitters, a sugar cube, and a lemon peel. While there are other versions of the drink, that is the most common recipe. They looked at the bottle and the seal was still intact. The tax stamp was from 1960 and it said that it had aged six years. That is a very rare bottle of whiskey, likely worth a lot of money. Next, they looked at the book. It was titled A Guide for the Perplexed by E. F. Schumacher. When they opened the book, they discovered that it had been published in 1977. Inside, they found a picture of Gregory Peck. When they looked at the book more, they found that there were clues on pages 1, 7, 11, and 14. And there was writing on the back of the picture, and it said, Alan, I have a book you must read. I've underlined a few key passages. Your friend, Vincent. But when the couple got to page 7, they found a map of Arizona. At first, it just looked like a bookmark, but they discovered soon that it wasn't. It was a flashcard, and it had an X-ray over the city of Mesa. On the front of the card, Arizona was highlighted in green along with other mountain states. The couple also found an underlined passage on page 7. It was on the chapter titled On Philosophical Maps, and the passage read, One way of looking at the world as a whole is by means of a map. That is to say, some sort of plan or outline that shows where various things can be found. On page 11, there was a picture of a house, and there was an underlined sentence there which read, They are yielded such fruitful results. They also found another picture in the book, and it read, where one tree becomes three. The couple was sure this was some sort of treasure hunt. On page 14, there was an underlined passage that read, Most modern readers will be reluctant to believe that perfect happiness is attainable by methods of which their modern world knows nothing. But finally, they inspected the bingo card. There were three circled numbers on the card. The man assumed that it could be the code to a safe located near a three-headed tree. Well, they don't know what to do with the cash, and they don't know where this three-headed tree is. For now, they have an amazing story of a real-life treasure hunt, and it all started when they began remodeling their home. Subscribe for more!